Hi everybody, welcome to Merrily Ever After. Today we're going to the Great Wall. Maybe, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's been an adventure so far. Uh, we left our apartment in Beijing at about 8.30, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 a.m. And uh, here we are at 3, still trying to find the Great Wall. <laughs> sure, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. wilderness of China. Uh, we're following some Russians, a couple of Poles, uh, and a couple of Americans, and a couple of uh, other countries up this mountainside, hoping that the Great Wall will be at the top. Still haven't seen it. Still have yet to see it, so I uh, better not walk backwards because I'm gonna fall. Well, folks, after a uh, good 45 minute hike up into the mountains here, north of Beijing, China, we have finally found the party, as you can hear, here at the Great Wall. Emily is going up the tower. Here's the view from beside the Great Wall. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> People camping out here inside the Great Wall. So this is a uh, part of the Great Wall that hasn't been restored. Uh, you can see here, a uh, beautiful view if it wasn't so polluted today, as you can see, so give a bit of a step for me. Uh, oh, great views from the other side over here. So uh, Emily was too scared, so uh, you get to tour with me all by myself. So, boy, it's beautiful. We'll get it, we'll get it please. Folks, I hope you enjoyed our uh, tour of the Great Wall of China. As we get ready to slide back down the mountain, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, my name's Ben Michael. This has been Merrily Ever After World Travels. And if you haven't for some random reason, my name is Please Don't Fall. And uh, this has been uh, this has been uh, the Eye Tower in Seoul. So, thank you. Folks, as you can see, it's at nighttime now, and uh, we haven't been able to get a taxi on our way down the mountain. So, uh, yeah, you thought the video was over, but now it's only just beginning. Now comes the second segment. Can we get a ride home from the that, great? Please come get us. Yeah. We're stuck in some countryside of China. We have walked now about uh, three or four kilometers, and uh, still no taxi. So, uh, Mom, here we go. We've, we've now gotten rid of uh, uh, half of our group, so now there's only like uh, 10 of us walking. So it's, uh, it's pretty much like, uh, like the Hunger Games right now, so we'll see who survives <laughs> to the end of this battle as we've now walked uh, probably uh, five kilometers down the road. 
to uh, this car actually right here driving in front of us. Uh, good people in the world, good people. Uh, we were able to get picked up by them, dropped off here in High Row. And uh, so uh, we made it back by ourselves. The rest of the group, the Russians, the Americans, the Poles, okay. no clue where they are. But uh, we're about to get a DD and I'll explain more later. So yeah, me and Emily finally made it back home. Uh, we, uh, we had an interesting night to say the least. We had to actually have uh, random people from the mountain, random Chinese people from the mountain actually just drive us down the hill so we could actually, or down the mountain, so we could actually get uh, a taxi at the end. And our friend, uh, Mr. Stoss, the Russian guy who set it all up, he actually rode in the back of a pickup truck with like eight other people to get down the mountain. So overall, our uh, planning for going to the Great Wall just north of uh, Jairo, uh wasn't set up super well, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So if you're ever getting to plan a trip to go to the Great Wall, do a lot of research. We went to a part that was not restored, as you saw today, uh, that not many local people actually go to, not even many tourists go to. And so uh, it was really cool. It was a tough hike, but uh, it was a lot of fun. So as always, we've enjoyed this. If you've enjoyed this video, my name is Michael. This has been Merrily Ever After World Travels. And if you haven't for some random reason, would you stop it back there? I'm trying to record this video. Merrily <sighs> ever after.